targets. However, we are technically in four hour and daily shorts. Well, we're in a daily long, kind of. We could make the argument that we're not in the long yet because we haven't traded down to where the full halfway back fill is. But we're in four hour short shorts from the 130, uh, 143.80 figure and down to a 15 minute chart. We're now in 15 minute trend shorts. And so now we had entry, you know, from highs to lows. We held the halfway back at the 120, uh, 856. Targets for that, the 61.8 target is the 139. Core lines up perfectly with the other 139.30 target. Targets for this trader, 140, 40, 50. And uh, we're still, you know, 125 pips away from that. Now, zoom in more. Take us down to today, the one minute time frame. And I mean, it's no surprise that the market's holding these levels so well and trades these levels because this is how markets move. From our highs to lows, we held a 50% retracement to target. Look, highs to lows, held the halfway back at 142.50. This is where I said I felt really silly selling 142.22s down here. I felt very silly doing that, but nevertheless, you know, we got our stop moved and we're, we're okay. Traded down to the 141.70 target that I had mentioned, 141.63. Entry high to low, target low. So entry high to target low, 50% at the 142.05 figure. That's why I called out that level and how important it was. Held. It's off just a tick, just a bit here. Hold on. There you go. Held. Traded down to the 141.40 target. I mean, like, the market was beautiful today. It, it it held these levels, and you can and you know in the one minute time frame, the difference here is a couple pips, you know three pips. So you front run these levels by four, five pips. That's okay. Down to target. I mean, just beautiful. The next measured move failed from high entry high to target low. We failed. You can see the first reaction into that level is a sell off at the one forty seventies. We took a one forty one eighty stop, and you know the short squeeze ensued. So the measure series of measured moves from the 143 high is over. We're not going lower in this series of measured moves. The only way we're going lower is now from entry high to target low. The only way we're going lower in without going back up to reach <laughs> to retest the 142.80 figure is if we hold the full halfway back from today's price action at the 142.20s, so our original entry. Um, which is why if I, I said if you've, if you've got them, hold them, and you may need to actually move your stop back to 142.50, because unbelievably, the exact same setup, pretty much, we had before, the 142.50 setup, I'm sorry, 140, uh, 142.20 sell against the 142.50 stop, is the setup now. Um, we did not, the longs failed to hold a clean halfway back long. We dipped into 61.8, but I don't see any reason for this market to not rally and squeeze up into the 142.20s. So that's our next sell, and um, believe it or not, let's see, I guess I'll show our orders. Look what I'm already ready for. All right, so our new orders going into Monday next week will be we're going to sell five at the 142.20. Front run this level by a little bit. We'll have a 20, a 30 pip stop at the 142.50s, which would be in validation. And we have a, uh, in theory, we actually have a target at the 141 figure. But we'd anticipate if we go to... 141 for lows to break and for us to continue on to our larger time frame targets 
which we can't forget, are still below us at the 140.50. So for this trade alone, we're going to have targets at 140.50. You could book some at 141 if you like, but if we do go down to 141s, um, we could just set stops, break even, and let it ride. And we're in a swing trade from the one minute time frame. We can now swing to the 15 minute time frame and hold on down to the 140.50s. Please don't forget, if we fail, if we fail the setup that we'll be in going into Monday at the 142.20s, if we fail and we get stopped, there I don't really see much hope for shorts. They need to break and break down the euro dollar next week early. Or there's the possibility that we short squeeze much higher in some kind of triangle consolidation because a failure of this level now, that level fails means we're going up to double test this level. And if we double test this level, it's warranted to possibly break, which would mean we're stepping back now to that hourly level at the 143s, which would be a double test that we already dipped in once and we have the potential to break that and of course if that's the case then the only other resistance we have really is prior highs and prior highs were not a measured move area uh, or not an area that um, had an entry associated with it um, in other words we would I would at that point be highly confident in the fact that we would be in some kind of uh, larger wedge playing out because remember this could still be just a b c and this could be a b of d e you know so <laughs> if this is a larger triangle we are going to be in it through the rest of the summer so if shorts fail it here and now if we fail that that level i th i really do believe we'll be in a wedge and we'll be back up testing 146s um you know, it will only be a matter of time before we get there. Uh, you can even, I mean, Euro does look like it's just getting ready to squeeze here into the close uh, of the week. But, so now now you understand my rationale and, and where it is. And, you know, when markets move like this, they move in a series of measured moves. And that's, that's what defines trend. We, we've done this before. And once these measure moves fail, you look for the counter trend setup or the full halfway back of the entire series that brought us down to a level. And if that full halfway back tra tra trails, the trend fails. And um, by that time, usually the counter trend has already set up in their series of measured moves and has entries and targets attached. So this is the setup going into Monday. Um, uh, 14220 sell for the euro dollar for shorts that would take us down possibly into larger long setups but if we're short into those areas you know we'll just have to reconsider uh, what we'll what we'll do and play it by ear and, and how those levels react so that's all I have for you today um, I hope you guys enjoyed our the, the wrap up we had a, we had a stellar week of trading here and um, feeling very in tune with the euro dollar it's being very precise and clean in its moves, and it's given us a very clear setup here uh, going into Monday. Uh, we could just fall through the r through the floor um, because technically speaking, um, technically speaking, from the original entry that we had this morning to lows, we did hold a halfway back. I, you know, I don't trust it, but technically, I mean, we did hold it to the pip. So when stuff like that happens, I kind of always have to wonder, um, wonder if, uh, if, if, if in fact that level is going to be, you know, um, recognized and respected and, you know, off that level now, you know, we are, we are technically are holding cleaner short setups than we are long setup still, so little uh, little worrisome. 
that we might be out of this and miss the next move in it, but I will be perfectly honest, the series of measured moves that we tracked down into this level have broken, uh, at least for today, and the continuation uh, level of interest is the 142.20 figure again, uh, and 142.50 would be a, a series, serious invalidation of the trend and likely would result in a major pop and squeeze higher. So everybody enjoy your weekends. I'll be back with you on Monday and Sunday as price action develops.